What's going on everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now ladies and gentlemen, today we had to go ahead and put this video out here because, uh, you know, I'm not one to go ahead and accuse a ton of people of cheating. I really am not. You guys know this, especially if you watch me on stream. You know, nine times out of ten, I just chalk it up. I barely even watch the kill cams. I just go about my business when it comes to the multiplayer experience. But recently, it has been pretty interesting, the lobbies that we have been getting. And it's kind of sad, too, because the matchmaking... It doesn't feel as thick anymore for me personally. I don't know about you guys across the board. Again, you know, you can go ahead and leave your opinions down below. But for me personally, when it comes to the matchmaking, you know, I get my sweaty matches, my casual matches, my in-between matches, you know, different player levels across the board. As you can see right here, you know, again, I'm playing solo in this gameplay. And you can see all the different players that are in this lobby. It's been pretty nice. But of course, with all good things for me personally, there always has to be something to counter that. And apparently that has to be the cheating situation right now within Modern Warfare 3. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, before we dive deep and get into the really interesting details, by all means, if you guys are interested in hearing more content just like this, subscribe and hit that bell. And last but not least, if you are interested in any live streams, I do that over on Kick pretty much daily around 1 to 2 p.m. Eastern time. If you guys want to check that out, I've got a link to that channel down in the description of this video. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, about a handful of days ago, I went ahead and tried out Fortune's Keep in Warzone. Again, you know, I don't really play that much Warzone, so I, I don't really remember the map at all. So it's still kind of fresh. I wanted to give it a go. I hopped in instantly, just swarmed, swarmed with the most blatant cheaters. Again, I'm not one to call out a lot of individuals. I really am not, you know. If someone, you know, drills me and their aim looks even a slight bit sus, usually I'll still give them the benefit of the doubt. But if they're just straight up rage hacking and they're making it as noticeable as possible, you just simply can't deny it. And it's happening time and time and time again. And I was just thinking to myself, you know, it's probably because we're playing free-to-play Warzone. Let me go ahead and shift over to the actual full paid multiplayer experience. I hop into some matches and once again, I am being tracked through like four, five different surfaces, watching them literally track me all the way from one side of the map as I'm pushing up to them and then drilling me. It, it is the most insane thing I've witnessed. And like I said, when it comes to the free to play experience, it's not acceptable whatsoever, but I expect it more, you know what I'm saying? When I'm hopping into that, I expect more cheaters than hopping back into 6v6. Typically, I don't have that much of a problem. I know other people run into a ton of cheating problems when it comes to multiplayer, but again, for me personally, it just it doesn't happen as frequently as it does for a lot of other people, for me at least. But holy cow, in the last few days, everything has been hitting the fan here. It has been extraordinarily bad. So I thought, you know, it can't just be me. It legitimately can't just be me. Let me check around on social media. The whole Reddit board is just packed with people saying cheaters are infesting their lobbies, not just in Warzone, but also in the full paid version of Modern Warfare 3. And even if you go over on Twitter, you have people like Charlie Intel, Modern Warzone, you know, they're tweeting out tons of different videos and clips of, you know, cheaters just blatantly doing the most absurd crap you'll ever witness in your whole life. Like, actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and roll one of those clips. I think this one was from Modern Warzone. He posted this one. I don't know who the individual is that's playing, but let me go ahead and roll this real quick. Still top tower. Yeah, still top tower. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, do not go there, Tim. Just run. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. I'm still down 139 SR, man. <laughs> did he do it to you, Viva? Oh, no, no, Mason. Ah. He didn't. I don't know about you guys, but that is literally insane. This is the top 250 ranked individuals on Warzone. And these are the people in their lobbies. People with as the most blatant aimbot you could possibly witness. And on top of that, having unlimited grenade launchers? Hello? And again, how is this happening? Don't you think that if it was a good anti-cheat, you could detect that someone is using something in the game that is absolutely not logical whatsoever without a cheating software and instantly kick them out? And that's not all. Look at this other clip I saw over on Twitter as well of this person basically, I, I guess, swimming. It's a swimming animation, but they're just flying around the whole map at the speed of light. I mean, this is just embarrassing. This is stuff that you see in OG games, you know? If you were to hop back in Call of Duty 4, World at War, all those other games on console, 
These are the cheats you see on those games, not in your most recent Call of Duty product, not even in the slightest. You know, people can sneak aimbot and sneak wall hacks and they can, you know, not rage hack and, you know, try to keep it on the low and make it work. But the fact that people are so blatantly doing the most absurd things that are, you know, ridiculously obvious to any normal human being that they're cheating and getting away with it is absurd. But wait. That's not all. It gets a little bit deeper than that. Apparently, I don't know if this is completely true or not. It's up to you guys if you want to go ahead and, you know, take their word or not. But apparently, you know, one of the cheat providers, you know, someone who goes ahead and creates these freaking horrifying cheats for this game, went ahead and put out a little post on their server describing that the anti-cheat is down. As you can see right here, a Discord message from a COD cheat provider showed that Ricochet has been disabled for a time, perhaps resulting in the huge wave of cheaters in the past week. However, it's unclear if Ricochet is active again in the multiplayer games. Activision has disabled the anti-cheat for a limited time, the cheat provider said. Go and abuse all cheats as badly as you can. I recommend multiplayer. It's the most fun, bro. These people are absolute douchebags. It's no way around it. The fact that anybody could even considerably say something of that sorts is insane. Like, bro, I'm not one to bully, but, you know, I, I totally, I totally 1,010% agree with bullying people who are like this. Because, God, God, that pisses me off. <laughs> it really does to see people say some crap like that just to go ahead and ruin everybody else's experience. All the people who want to just casually hop on and have a good time. You know, they, they can't because it's assholes like this who purposely get enjoyment out of making sure you're not having a good time in that game. But, you know, again, I don't know if you want to take their word or not, but apparently the anti-cheat is just basically down in Call of Duty. Activision has completely removed it. I don't know why. I, I don't know if they're working on something, if they're doing something behind the scenes. But at the end of the day, that right there is the reason why the cheaters have been running rampant, you know, like I said, I was shocked, I really was shocked to see so many cheaters in the multiplayer side of things, along with Warzone, but again, Warzone, free to play, it doesn't shock me as much, but when I went over to multiplayer and started seeing them every single game, I'm like, hold on a moment, what is this, what's going on, I'm wondering if that's why people aren't really noticing too much of a difference with skill-based matchmaking, because all their lobbies, even if it is low levels, they're probably just cheaters, you know, they're probably just people with a, you know, a new account coming to cheat in multiplayer, and they're still just dunking on everybody, because they're using cheats, I don't know, but at the end of the day, I'll tell you one thing, the way around this, and I'm hoping that's what they're doing here, is just changing the freaking anti-cheat, Probably not. I'm sure they're probably doing something behind the scenes to make Ricochet more complex because that's what, you know, an anti-cheat is all about. It's a non-stop battle, you know. Uh, they update their anti-cheat and then once they release it again, the cheaters go ahead and, you know, try to figure it out and decipher it. And they put out some new software that allows you to get through the anti-cheat and then the anti-cheat, you know, team has to come back again and work around that. And then, the, and, you know, the, the cheat providers work around that and then the anti-cheat provider, you know, it, it's back and forth battle, non-stop. So, you know, it makes sense that that's probably the direction they're taking. They're just probably taking it down a bit so they can go ahead and work on it to make it more complex. But we need something new. The fact that we have to go through this whole crappy system of going ahead and reporting people and hoping that the right people are getting banned and we have to trust, you know, actual other people out there to determine if someone's cheating or not. It's just not worth it. Just detect the freaking cheat software right out the gate. Right when someone loads up their PC, right when they turn it on, it should instantly be scanned when they go into the game to see if anything is running. Anything is running. That's what should be going on here because that's the only way to go ahead and handle these cheaters. If you don't do that and you rely on people to have to, you know, report, the job is just simply never going to get done. And also at the same time, a lot of people who aren't cheating are getting banned for no reason. So many people that I know have been getting shadow banned nonstop, bro. It's a never ending cycle. And then they get unshadow banned, then they get shadow banned again. They get unshadow banned, they get shadow banned again over and over and over again because people, once again, like I said in many videos before, people don't know how to actually you know, decipher what a real cheater is and someone who's just simply good at the game. Not saying everybody out there, but I can't tell you how many people literally spam report every person who outguns them in a gunfight. It's insane. So how are we going to legitimately get cheaters out of the game if we can't even, you know, like, like I said, if, if over half the people are just spam reporting and don't even know what, you know, these real cheaters are like, how are we going to get them out of the game? We can't rely on people. We have to rely on an anti-cheat that goes down to the system itself and dissects it right down to the core to make sure that they never enter the game in the first place. That is the way things have to be handled. 
But as always, ladies and gentlemen, leave a like if you enjoyed today's video. Leave a dislike if you hate it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell if you want to be updated on more videos just like this. We post daily here at 8 in the morning Eastern time. And sometimes we do double uploads. So, of course, like I said, hit that bell so you can stay notified. And last but not least, we do go ahead and stream pretty much daily over on Kick. So if you guys are interested in any live streams, you want to chat it up with me or even hop into the open lobbies that we host over there. You can find a link to my Kick channel down in the description of this video. And that stream usually goes live around 1 to 2 p.m. Eastern time. But as always, thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.